No? Nothing? No? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Welcome to part 11 of the Paper Mario playthrough. Um, yeah, still continuing on through Forever Forest. Um, so, there are six... You have to look for hints uh, to give you the right pathway. Um, you have to do that six times. If you fuck up, even on the sixth time, you go all the way back to the beginning. And if, if you can't understand the layout for each screen, it's um, uh, four pathways for each okay. one. So, Josh, do you still want to brute force it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, it depends how I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't want to look for clues. Some of them are more obvious than others. Um, it's okay. Different, yeah, so it's different each time. So, like for this one, uh, the lips are on the flowers are different. So, I thought the clue was that there was one extra flower on that one than the others. Oh yeah! Hey, look, it's that Smash Bros. fighter. <laughs> He's gotta brush his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's just the normal variant. There's actually a variant of piranha plant later that is a, called a, a putrid piranha. It has a poison status. So, I wouldn't believe it with the uh, uh, putrid plant. <laughs> Not brushing its teeth. Yeah. <laughs> There's no suppression of teeth. The other one has to take a shower. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> yeah, it is just a regular one. <laughs> yeah. It's just how it looks. That's just the model that they decided. A stylistic to go choice. It's stylistic choice, yeah. I'll tell it to the Mega Man fans at Mega Man Zero. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole whole ass fucking debate about whether you know whether Zero is using the same uh, like is like the same look that he was in the Mega Man X games, or or if it's like a completely different body. And like the the conclusion from what it sounds like is that it's the same body in the X games, but the, it's just a stylistically like it's just a stylistic choice that it looks different in the Zero games. Mm. Oh yeah, the debate of whether it's yeah okay. Now I, mean, I get what you're I, I, yeah, I don't know why they're trying so hard. The X, the the overall arcing story of the X franchise is there. There is none. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, well, because well, well, in, in one of the, I'm pretty sure it's like in the third one, but like near the end of it, this will be kind of spoilers, but it's an old game, it's whatever. Yeah. Um, but you, you, have, like, you, have, you have an encounter with um, with uh, Omega Zero, and it gets explained to you there that, that it's like, this is like your, this is like Zero's original body, and it's like the one you've been using throughout all the other Zero games was just like a copy of the original body. But it's like Omega Zero still looks like it still has the same sprite. As like as like your character, and so it's like, well, if this is the original body, then why doesn't he look at like X Zero? You know? <laughs> hmm. do, do you think it could have been like cheap at Theseus type of shit, where it's like it is the original body, but they slowly like upgraded the body over time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah, like that. There's a possibility, like it's that too. Like, yeah, it's the same body, but it's just been like upgraded with like you know with different parts. As <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it could be, like, be like it's the same body, but it's been upgraded with like newer technology parts. As you know, as stuff has advanced over the last like I think hundred years between the X games yeah. and the Zero games. Because uh, I also I did watch one of those theory videos. Yeah, and the dude explained like, hey, and like the old games, you could see energy like sh like thrusters on their feet when they uh. Boost it forward, but in the zero games you don't. It just smoke. That's a good point, actually. I never, I never noticed that. <laughs> hmm. This is also the same franchise where, um, in the ZX games, you have to get out of your robot body to crawl under, whereas classic Mega Man can fucking slide. Uh <laughs> yeah, but in all fairness, that you're not like Mega Man. It, that one, you're like a sub. 
Oh, Fuck, random sorry. fucking robot. Yeah, 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 no, Z X, you're not like Mega Man, you have like, you have like fucking like plastic models that make you look like the Mega Man or whatever. Yeah, you, yeah, you have powers. plastic models that like, or like, I think it's, I think they call them metals. Or yeah, yeah, or yeah, they're like biometals or something like that. Yeah, like, he, that, that dude was just lucky enough to get like the biometal that had both like Mega Man and Zero's biometals together. Yeah, 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 you have like the Mega Man X Biometal, which you start out with in the game, and like, and like your friend or boss, whoever has like the Zero One, and then like, you know, and then like eventually you get the Zero One and you combine them, and that, that's how you become like ZX or whatever. You like, you be, that's you get you combine the X and Zero models together. Still, still can't crawl though. <laughs> yeah. well, you still can't slide. Yeah. In the uh, uh, the sequel game Advent, there's like a actually there's like a bonus uh, like medal you can get where you actually become like the old like eight big pixel art kind of sprite like Mega Man, but you with, like, a big yeah, you become that, and that one you can slide with. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, so the, but not the normal one. <laughs> so the older technology can do the can do the slide, but the newer stuff, okay. So oh, but it's um Mega Man could do it. Normal man can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mega uh, Man can do it, but not Normal Man. <laughs> normal Man cannot do it. Oh man. Um, I mean, it, 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 I mean, if Mega Man's a robot and has like thrusters and shit, I mean, like you know, there's moments where you can just be like underneath a thing and just slide indefinitely, but like that's not how physics work, I guess. <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to. <laughs> at this point, we're just coming up with excuses for <laughs> shit that doesn't that it doesn't, shouldn't have to be explained in the in the first place. <laughs> Every yeah. single theory video ever. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt Pat. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen the. I guess the phrase doesn't need to make sense. <laughs> I've, I've seen I've seen edits of you know Matt Pat's cameo in the FNAF movie, and um. <laughs> I've just seen edits where they just take well, <laughs> you see here it starts going into some whatever fucking theory. While it starts he's, explaining the entire FNAF lore. <laughs> yeah, as he's as he's serving dinner to to fucking whoever. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, welcome to Boo's Mansion. Um, this is not a dungeon at all. Um, the Boo's aren't actually enemies in this game. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Which is kind of surprising if you know your Mario lore. That, you know. that is kind of surprising, huh? Yeah. My cat has arrived home. Hello, kitty. Yeah, no, yeah. the, the Boo's are not enemies. They are just, um... Annoyances. NPCs, yeah. They're just there to fuck around with Mario here at this part. Like that they're just goofy goobers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that last part was like, can you find the record in the circle of uh, booze? Yeah. Pay attention. Yeah. Did you actually have to like guess that right, or or like? Yeah, you have to guess it. Well, well, oh, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, like you're... I, I would have probably lost track after having to try to read the dialogue at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right here, you have to play the record player at a consistent. Rate, so the boo can jam out to it while he's not guarding the treasure chest anymore. Uh. Oh, so you can't just what's it called? Smashed. Uh. Right. Yeah, you have to be dead center in the okay. Yeah. He'll break it down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, it just reminded me of a fucking, like, like, meme or gif that I or not gif, like, clip that I saw, uh, that was, like, so, this is, so someone was, like, solving a, like, a math problem or something like that, like, on a, on a whiteboard, and they, and they were, like, break it down, and then, like, the camera pans back over to them, and they just start dancing, like, <laughs> <laughs> Boing. So this is the weirdest Resident Evil game I've played. <laughs> uh, there we go. 
Yeah, we're just really trying to solve the little puzzles that this mansion has just to get to the top floor. Thankfully, that chandelier did not do any damage. It was just a scare. <laughs> I appreciate the little moments of uh, jump scariness that they try to do. <laughs> oh no, it's a horror game. <laughs> Yeah, it, we're going to have another one of those uh, games here now, too. Got that? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? There it is. <laughs> do it again. I wasn't looking. That's <laughs> the do it again. <laughs> oh, could you please do it again? I was not looking. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you fail, they shuffle it around again. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Basically. <laughs> uh, for you know the last bit of dialogue that there was uh, there before the mini game began, um, I just fucking did not read it at all. <laughs> uh. But yeah, uh, we got uh, new shoes. We can now do the ground pound. That break stuff. It also means our um, our jumping damage just increased as well. Yeah, this is also the part of the game where the game now starts giving you uh, better recovery items. Because <laughs> in the early game, it gave you the standard mushroom, the standard honey syrup, which uh, uh, gave you like uh, 5 HP and FP respectively. Now it's the part of the game where they start giving you super shrooms and maple syrups, which do 10 uh, respectively, because things are getting a little bit tougher. Super shrooms. Got about to shroom up. <laughs> Let's get high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the best shrooms ever. Oh yeah, by late game you start getting ultra shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate trip. The ultimate shroom. Like <laughs> you just fucking drop it. You're like I picked uh, it up. Yeah, I, I can I can see it. You're only allowed 10 items into your inventory, which is really limiting. <laughs> that is very limiting. You're like... You are... In your first playthrough, you're like, what the fuck do I need? You're like... <laughs> what do I right. keep? What do I throw? I'm... Because it sounds like you're, what, second playthrough at the very least? You're like, oh, okay, I know what I want. I know I'm gonna throw away. I'm just showing off these items. Right. <laughs> like this little Easter egg here. Yeah. Now you're stuck like that for the rest of the game. <laughs> God, can you imagine? No. It's funny, if you leave the room, you come back as regular Paper Mario. <laughs> oh, that's what's fun. <laughs> But, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, you only have so much inventory space. And right now, what I have in there is, um, pretty, pretty decent items. There's a dried fruit in there, which actually recovers 15 HP. Where oh, wow. It, yeah, it's, it's really nice, actually. <laughs> um. So, and those apples only do, like, five or three. I don't really remember. So mm. I, I want to hang on to the bigger number rather than the smaller number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just generally, um, maybe it's because the combat mechanics of this game are really simplified. There are status effects in the game, but I would not recommend relying on them because I feel like it's just a waste of a turn, really. You could be dealing. You could be dishing out some nice damage, 
instead of I mean, just him. In all fairness, in any RPG, you either the fucking mastermind that is using status effects to opt to ability, or you're that one guy who's like big number good. <laughs> yeah, that's basically me with Pokemon. I just <laughs> I, I, I just pick whatever moves sound strong. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds, Sounds oh yes, Thunderbolt. <laughs> That's Thunderbolt, like eighty damage, isn't it? Yeah, like eight. Yeah, eighty damage. Or oh, eighty power to be precise. I'm not exactly sure how it works in Pokemon because I feel like part of the combat mechanics is to use those status effects um smartly. Uh, yeah, at least. Thunder Wave, because that one's just... Maybe that's why I suck at Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Thunder Wave, I think, and Sleep Powder, I think, are the most used talks. No, it's, yeah. Uh, competitively, yes. In terms of, like, playing the game normally, you would never use them. You can get away with just, like, big number good. Mm. <laughs> I think the only reason I ever use status effects normally in Pokemon is if I want to, like, uh, like weaken the Pokemon or put it to sleep to, like, catch it easier. Catch it easier, yes. Yeah. That's Oh, yes, water type defeat fire type. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. I mean, there there have been times where I've fought, like, a hunter, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I need to play this out a bit more carefully, because that fucker just had, had that one Pokemon that killed all of mine. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How do I plan against this? I think it'd be neat to do a Pokemon game for the channel. I actually am using this game as like a gateway for our uh, RPG um, uh, setup for commentaries. Uh, yeah, because this is technically so our new pale baby. No skin. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is technically our first one, not counting uh, Fallout New Vegas, because that has its own thing. So yeah. It's our gateway. We can do a lot more things now. <laughs> yes. We know exactly what to do. Cut out the battles, you say. Cut out the side quests, you say. <laughs> ah, yes. My favorite. <laughs> as much as I would want to, like, you know, you know, be, be like, Woo, Undertale! I kind of don't really know how, like, the, like a good way to do that one. Because, <laughs> um, like... Yeah, especially since there's so many routes to go down. Yeah, yeah well, well, it's... They're, 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 there's technically just, like, three main routes, but, yeah, there's, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there, 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 there's so many there's so many different like ways you can do things in like your in like your own way and like and the game has like a really crazy attention to detail to what you do in the game and stuff. <laughs> what do yeah, you mean so... there aren't 93 endings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 technically, there's only like 20 neutral endings. But like I said, if you want to, in the other part, if you want to count all those like extra bits of dialogue as their own endings, yeah, that's like 93. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and there's also like there's also the whole thing with like because you have like the pacifist run you can do where like you don't kill anything and then there's also the genocide run where you kill absolutely everything like you go out of your way to purposely kill everything that's how it, ma it makes it a genocide run but like the pacifist ending changes if you've already played a genocide run beforehand <laughs> oh, I see. So, so, so there's even like stuff like that like they get like the game like remembers what you did in like previous runs of the game and stuff And like some of the characters are even aware that like that, that like you've already met them before and stuff like that. Wow, this is your twentieth genocide run. <laughs> you Why love, so many? You love killing. <laughs> You're heartless. <laughs> I mean, they already call you heartless like by the first run, but in twentieth, they're like, there's just no stopping you, is there? Yeah, I don't think really too much changes if you do genocide over and over. But yeah, like as you do a genocide run, like they, like they, they they say like you're not human, you know, and stuff like that, and they you know they they like they know you're not like you know you don't care about anything and stuff like that. This is your one hundredth genocide run. You're just like Ada. <laughs> How would they know about that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, I can see in the game code they make reference to Ada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you look at the data mine, they say if you get. <laughs> if you look at the data mine. <laughs> yeah, if you. <laughs> what if, what if Sans' dialogue's in the neutral ending? <laughs> <laughs>